All right, let's go then. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the third part. This is the third like episode, I guess you could say, of this uh, vlog series I'm doing of me going to the Isle of Man. I'm going there because my dad's working there at the moment and I'm just going to see him for a couple days. If you're wondering why I'm going by myself and not like with anybody else, it's because Andre's got school and uh, yeah, he he's coming in a couple weeks as well. And that being said, last night, obviously I didn't do much. I just came in. Sat on my phone for a couple hours, played some PUBG, and then fell asleep. But this morning, when I had a shower, as you can see, my hair is still damp, but it's okay, it'll dry. And now I'm just made some coffee. They only have decaf here. Here you go. I mean, it's not bad. So yeah, they gave me this voucher for full breakfast. I'm gonna bring that with me then, because I need to show it to them. I was debating on whether or not I should wear this hoodie. This is the same hoodie I wore yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm debating whether or not I should wear this which is my off-white crew neck, if you guys haven't seen it, go and watch my thousand pound shopping spree, I think it is, or I don't know what it's called, uh, like shopping spree. I don't think it was called thousand pound shopping spree, actually. It was, um, it's, the, it's the, this video. I don't know what it's, what it's called. Yeah, go ahead and watch that video because that's when I show you me buying this along with some Yeezys and some other stuff. So, but yeah, gonna go grab some breakfast so I can finish this coffee quickly, go grab some breakfast, get ready, leave. A um, couple of things I did forget, as you can see, I am chainless. I forgot my chains at home. Um, did forget spray spray. I mean, the reason why I forgot these things is because I thought I'd be at my dad's house by now. So, you know, I'd have everything there already, um, which is a bit annoying, but it's okay. I'm not, I, I don't smell too bad, I don't think. Um, but yeah. I mean, if you guys didn't watch the last video and I didn't address it, um, also, a lot of the um, stuff at the airport, a lot of the uh, shops and stores, stores they're understaffed. Um, I feel like they are understaffed. There's a, there's a lack of a shortage of people working there. Um, a lot of the stuff was either sold out or just not available. Um, uh, I think that's because of the COVID, you know, issue, and with people being sent home to isolate for 14 days at a time. I think you know that's definitely had an impact. And one thing I noticed is a lot of the airport stores closed very early. Um, because of these shortages of stuff, they closed quite early. For example, after I went to go eat in the last vlog, go watch it, had some nice wings, you know what I'm saying, mukbang and that. Um, but after I went and ate, I was like, cool, my flight's cancelled, let me go look around Gucci, Burberry, Hugo Boss, because I didn't, I didn't really look around them, so I was a bit annoyed. Um, and I, I came out and it was all closed and it was only like eight. Not even eight o'clock, and it was everything was closed. Um, so that's that's quite interesting. Um, the only store that was still open was the big one, the just the duty free ones. All right, let's go then. This is still charging, I think. Ah, oh, no, it's fully charged. Let's go. Supreme charge is charged, but I'm gonna leave it just in case. Um, get that extra juice. All right, time to go, guys. There was a hair dryer here, so I could dry my hair in theory, but I prefer to just let it dry in the wind otherwise there's too much volume to it and it's like massive it's crazy it's just infinite me <laughs> many people's worst nightmare but yeah gonna go get some breakfast see you in a bit <laughs> all right guys we're back in the hotel room now I just finished breakfast, um, I didn't really record much just because I was just eating so yeah also I'm trying not to gain too much weight just for my boxing I need to get to 60 I need to lose a couple more kilos I think, two more kilos or three more kilos and then I'm there
guys, so I'm back home now. Um, well, not, I'm at my dad's house. I uh, just got back from doing the COVID test, and I'm gonna have to isolate until I get the results, which is within 24 hours. Hopefully, I get them tomorrow morning so I can go out and get a, cup, get a run in tomorrow and then one after tomorrow. Um, but yeah, right now, I'm a bit hungry, so I'm gonna cook something quick. There's a couple of steaks in the fridge, so I'm probably gonna. All right. So I'm gonna make a steak, guys. We've got all the ingredients. I'm just gonna. I don't know how to set the camera. Set the camera over here. So ingredients: um, rump steak, vine tomatoes. I just prefer them to be honest to the smalls. Um, some baby spinach. And then over here we've got this interesting thing, king oyster mushrooms, these are from South Korea, so that's going to be interesting, I wonder how these taste, apparently they go well with steak, so yeah. Oh, I don't know why, I feel like my voice echoes a lot in here, so if there is an echo I don't, I don't know why either. Um, so let's grab some of this, I don't know how I'm going to get the camera right, put it over here maybe. Yes, perfect. All right, nice. Time to cook the steak. So we've got some olive oil. Uh, we're just gonna put on the steak. Rub it in. Flip it over. Don't wanna put too much. Heat this. Anyway, um, pepper, oh, salt, then pepper, obviously, I don't know why. Salt, pepper, um, a bit more agana. I've really got no clue how you meant to cook these, um, king oyster mushrooms. I'm assuming I'll just, you know, chop them thinly and just fry them, I guess. But yeah, I'm a big fan of mushrooms, so hopefully these taste nice. Um, still waiting for the pan to heat up. Uh, I'm gonna put the steak in. Okay, there is an avocado. I feel like oh, I feel like this is the ripest one out of the bunch. They're not very ripe, but I'm not that great at cooking, by the way, so don't judge me, guys. Um, what am I doing again? Oh yeah. I don't mind just having spinach raw sometimes, so I'm just gonna put a couple handfuls in there. Okay, so food is ready. Um, steak, uh, just a couple of these little ones, mushrooms, just because I don't know what they taste like, so if I don't like it, I'll just waste it. And a little salad of sorts over here. Uh, while I let the steak to rest, I, you know, prepared this and cooked the mushrooms, so the steak has had a good time to rest. And um, yeah, ready to eat. And I'm going to have that with a mug of this almond milk. It's me and my mom's favorite almond milk. It's this vanilla flavored almond milk. So I'm going to have half a cup of that. Let's see how well I've cooked this. Ah, perfect. As always, come on, Max. Let's go. All right. Right here, guys, we've got, I feel like the perfect steak. I think like that red but it's not like bloody. I'd say this is like medium rare. Cause you can see you've got that gray wall over here kind of. So I feel like it's definitely medium rare. Very soft as well. Mm. Very soft and delicious. And let me try this mushroom. It's got this very like strong taste, which I like because I like mushrooms, but 
If you don't like mushrooms in general, I don't think you'd like these. Very interesting. Mm, that's good. Nice little meal. If you guys are wondering why I'm standing up, it's because my dad's just gone to pick up chairs, I think. Uh, because he just moved in the other day. Yeah, the steak is perfect. Also, um, my dad's got some of this. For me, I've got some whey protein in here. And I've got some cacao or cocoa powder, whatever. Um, so that would be good. I can make some milkshake with that. We've got banana as well, so I can make a banana chocolate protein milkshake, which would be good. Made really nice. You've got this nice sort of like crust on the outside, not too much though. Um, I was kind of in a rush, and I mean, I get it, the salad is a bit, yeah, it tastes nice, but it's just not well presented because I was kind of in a rush and a bit hungry. But otherwise, the steak was cooked perfectly. That's perfect in my opinion.